So it is Monday morning uh, and I've been up since about 8, which I'm not going to lie is slightly earlier than I normally like to be up. Uh, I've been waiting for a plumber who has yet to show up. But I have done the important job um, of cleaning the fish tank, which is wonderful. I suppose I was thinking a little bit over this weekend about kind of why I've been doing this. And first off, I suppose I've been finding it quite fun. It's been quite a nice little new thing to do, a nice little hobby, I suppose. And also I found it quite a useful way of kind of spilling my thoughts out and talking things through. The play I've been writing recently, Happiness Limited, is all about video games. And in the kind of computer programming world, they talk a lot about rubber ducking, which is this idea that if you just talk your problem through to a rubber duck, that eventually you'll kind of come up with a solution. And so I suppose for me, it's partly been a little bit about that. But I suppose then that also begs the question as to why put it up on YouTube, why make it public. This weekend, I was at the uh, Young Vic Directors Program workshop. They're running some in Plymouth. And I suppose what it really highlighted to me was how opaque the theatre industry can be sometimes and how kind of, how much fog can exist around kind of how to get into it. And I'm aware that also kind of exists around higher education a little bit as well. Um, particularly with doing my PhD, I suppose until I applied for it, until I got it, I suppose I didn't particularly think I was the kind of person that was kind of capable of doing that. So I hope in some ways that it's a way of kind of shedding a bit of light into both of those things if it's of use to anyone else. Okay, so I gave up. Maybe if I could always have a plumber that doesn't show up each morning, it would be a massive boom to my uh, productivity. So now I'm heading on up to Exeter. We've got a meeting at the Bike Shed Theatre about having this limited, the play that um, I just got funding for the other day. My big revelation at the end of last week was that I really worked out how to start the next chapter that I'm writing. So I went back and did a lot of reading over Thursday and Friday, and my mission for uh, the train journey today, other than getting to Exeter, is to start to put some of that into actual words. So I had a pretty successful meeting up in Exeter, came away with lots to do, of course, um, but really exciting to see Happiness Limited uh, moving forward. Uh, so now I'm back. I managed to get up to like 750 words on the train, which is really good. I find like I'll go through bits where I'll write loads and then I'll get really stuck. I think it's perhaps because I come from a writing background that I like my the things that I'm writing as part of my thesis to sound really nice. Um, so I tend to get stuck a little bit on making it sound really good rather than just getting knowledge down sometimes. So it's really good to have some words and I feel like I've got a bit of momentum. Well, it's been a fairly relaxed day actually, despite all that gallivanting up to Exeter and back. Uh, but I've just got to the point where I know I'm not going to get any more kind of writing done. So I'm going to go and edit some video and then call it a day. So yesterday I made the fatal mistake of being like, tomorrow's gonna be slightly boring and I didn't really know what I'm gonna talk about. And then as fate would have it, just as I was heading to bed, I managed to catch my finger in the uh, in the door. So that hurt quite a lot. So today I've now got the challenge of working out how to type with slightly less fingers without accidentally trying to use that one and really hurting again. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the fact that my finger's hurting hasn't been the biggest problem today. The bigger factor has been the fact that I've just been struggling to get any words coming out. Which is quite annoying, because yesterday I had a real, like, I really got onto the tracks and was, like, writing loads and loads and loads. Um, so I'm taking a quick break to do uh, some stuff on my PGR, which is this programme that we use to kind of write up supervisions that we've done um, and kind of write up what was discussed and uh, what kind of the actions moving forward for the next month are. Today has not been a positive advert for working from home. I've done that thing where I spend the whole day thinking that I'm about to do something, so I'll just like play a quick bit of PlayStation or I'll quickly have a little read of my book. Uh, and now it's about uh, kind of 10 o'clock. Uh, and I'm kind of thinking I should probably try and get another couple of hundred words written because uh, I got loads and loads written yesterday but not really much at all today. I did get my uh, supervision notes written up onto my PGR which was excellent uh, and I've also got to, I've just managed to get ethics clearance for some interviews I want to run as part of my research so that's really positive too and I'm hoping I'll be able to put them up on YouTube too. 
back on up to Exeter where we have a meeting of the Performance Cultures and Histories Research Group which is essentially a uh, kind of coming together of lots of researchers within the department who work um, in kind of similar areas I suppose probably uh, more specifically I suppose it's with similar methodology so looking at theatre and performance within a um, specific cultural context even if that particular context is kind of now and here like mine is um, so it's a really nice opportunity for um, people to bring in work, like sometimes people have brought in uh, book chapters or um, kind of funding applications they're working on to share it in a kind of supportive environment of other researchers within the drama department. So I didn't really get a chance to do a signing off video at the end of yesterday, but the research centre meeting went really well. I always find it fascinating to be in those rooms. Um, I'm still at the point where I don't necessarily have much to contribute, but it's really interesting to like listen to um, people that are like quite a few steps further ahead in their like academic career, like proper like professors and stuff, talking about the early stages of their own projects. And it kind of reminds you that all projects have those early stages where you're still trying to kind of find out what the research is um, and what form, kind of what written form it might take eventually. After that, I headed down to Theatre Royal Plymouth where I was running a workshop uh, with one of their young company groups. It was our last week this week, so we had our show back, which went really well. I find it really important to kind of keep up my theatre practice, I think. And I think if you're doing a PhD, it's kind of useful to keep up with whatever the thing that inspired you to do that PhD is. Because it just it really reminds me kind of why I'm doing it and what I really love about it. Um, and as well as I think it will help me with kind of when I'm hopefully doing some teaching later on, I think keeping those practical skills up to date is really, really important. Just taking a break from writing some of my thesis because I've got a bit of work to write up for um, rehearsals this evening for Pursuit of Tank Roof Headphones. It's been kind of an annoying day because it's actually gone really, really well, but I don't feel like I've put that much work in. Whereas like on a day like Tuesday, I really felt like I was trying to get a lot done, but not quite succeeding. Um, but that's just the way it goes sometimes, I suppose. So now I'm gonna spend um, about half an hour typing up lots of the devising we did at our last rehearsal, ready for rehearsal this evening. Heading back home now after rehearsal, went really, really well. I've um, got to be up tomorrow to go to Birmingham to see a show up there. Um, but yeah, the show's really coming together, which is really exciting. Um, and uh, it's really funny, I think, at least I hope. Rehearsing at TR2 in the summer is always really, really lovely. It's always really like, bright in the seas there. In the winter, I think you become acutely aware that you're actually on an industrial state in Plymouth in the middle of Cattown, which is kind of less scenic and it kind of smells a bit like fish. But uh, onward to home now uh, and to some dinner. So it is Friday uh, and the plumber has eventually come, which is quite nice, kind of dramatically. I feel like that kind of rounds the week off as it started which is quite nice. Today I'm off to Birmingham uh, to see a show. Uh, I suppose I'm doing field work. It always slightly feels like cheating calling what I do field work because I'm essentially going on a trip to see a show. So what I call working over the weekend, lots of other people would call having a nice kind of weekend off and going on a trip. But I suppose that's the whole kind of uh, busman's holiday kind of phenomenon. So I've been doing my packing, packed a couple of books that I need to read, um, as well as comic books. Comic books kind of my secret passion. And I think what I'm gonna try and do is make myself read uh, some of the literature I need to on my way up so that tomorrow on Saturday when I come back down I can kind of treat myself uh, with some recreational comic book reading. I've kind of swapped to what I've done this time. Usually I've got a coach to wherever I'm going and then booked an Ibis or somewhere to stay overnight. This week what I've done is I've booked a train because I'm going to Birmingham so that would take a little bit longer on the coach. Um, but then I've booked a hostel for the night. So I've kind of swapped which, which parts of my journey are kind of luxury and which parts uh, slightly less so. I was going to take you with me up to Birmingham but I'm not entirely sure what the kind of internet situation will be when I get there and I quite like to get these videos up on Friday. So this has been a week in my kind of life as a PhD student. I hope it's been of some interest. I'm not planning on doing this every week. I'm going to carry on doing a kind of performance analysis video on Tuesdays and then something else on a Friday. That might be something like this, it might be something a little bit more focused but if you've enjoyed then uh, let me know down below and uh, feel free to subscribe, that would be wonderful. Cheers!